Number 8, 1954 S. Roosevelt Dime with no JS. Our journey begins with the 1954's Roosevelt Dime. What makes this coin extraordinary is the absence of the JS- the initials of its designer, John Sinek. The missing initials add a layer of rarity, making this dime a coveted find among collectors. If you have one, hold on tight, it's a keeper. This MS-65 specimen with full bands on the torch, ended up selling for $109.12 with buyer's fee. Next up, we have the 1964 at Washington Quarter with a double die obverse. This rare variety resulted from a unique minting process, leaving visible doubling on modern and God we trust. Check your collection for this doubling effect, it could turn your quarter into a true numismatic treasure. This MS-65 specimen ended up selling for $450 with buyer's fee. Number 6, 1982D Small Date Cent. Let's talk about a transitional year, 1982, and specifically, that small date cent. In the world of numismatics, transitions matter, and the small date variety is less common, making it a hidden gem for collectors. Keep an eye out for this subtle yet significant difference. According to PCGS, the 1982p small date copper Lincoln cent is one of the most difficult memorial cents to find in high-grade condition. They are scarce even in MS-64 and MS-65 grades. It is one of the most difficult varieties to find in high grade out of all seven different varieties of this date. In MS-66 grade and higher, they are extremely difficult to find. This MS-68 superb gem was sold for $1,405.12 with buyer's fee. Number 5, 2011 P. Jefferson Nickel. Moving on to the 2011 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 full steps. The high mint state grade and the presence of full steps on Monticello's reverse make this nickel a standout. Quality matters in numismatics, and a high-grade coin with full steps is a true find for any collector. This modern gem fetched a sum of $1,730.25 with buyer's fee. Number 4, 1909 SVDB cent. Now, let's talk about the 1909's VDB cent. Graded in mint state 65 plus red and brown by NGC. This scent, bearing the initials of its designer, Victor David Brenner, is a treasure in itself. A grade of MS 65 plus and the red and brown designation make it not just a scent but a numismatic masterpiece. Keep this one close, it's a piece of history. Golden luster lies beneath original chestnut brown toning that forms a wood grain pattern over each side. The strike is sharp, and needless to say, I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $4,320 on December 15, 2023. Number 3, 1983 cent double die obverse. The doubling on the date and lettering is a distinctive feature of this coin. Coupled with a grade of MS67 red, it becomes a rare and valuable addition to any collection. This one ended up selling for $12,436.88 with buyer's fee. Number 2, 1943 Washington Quarter, Toned. Now, on to a wartime treasure, the 1943 Washington Quarter. Already rare due to its silver content during World War II, if you happen to have one with a toned appearance and a grade of MS-68, you've struck numismatic gold. Toned and graded high, it's a winning combination. The design elements are generally well impressed on this one. Lustrous surfaces are impeccably well preserved and yield stunning eye appeal, aptly recognized by CAC. The collector seeking colorfully toned coins highly appreciates such specimens. This MS-68 gem ended up selling for $10,281.25. Number 1, 1915D Lincoln Cent MS-67 Red. Our final spotlight is on the 1915 Lincoln Cent. Minted in Denver, this cent, in MS-67 Red, is a testament to its rarity and condition. Finding a coin from 1915 in such a high grade is like discovering a numismatic time capsule. Hold on to this piece of history. David Longy wrote in his complete guide to Lincoln cents, as the population figures suggest, it, the 1915D, is readily available in all degrees of color, although few of the red or red slash brown coins are true gems. Similarly, Bowers noted in his guide book of Lincoln cents, mint state coins are seen with frequency in the marketplace, but gems with original color, no spots, and sharply struck are rare. This MS-67 red gem was sold for $43,200.
As we conclude our journey through these eight rare coins, the resounding message is clear, do not sell these numismatic treasures lightly. Each coin holds a unique story and rarity that can appreciate over time. So, fellow collectors, resist the temptation to part ways with these gems. Cherish them, preserve them, and who knows, the value might just multiply in the years to come. Happy collecting, and may your numismatic adventures be filled with incredible discoveries. Gods will see you in the next episode.